Well, you guys, now it's time for today's guest. Elle Varner is a Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter known for her fan-favorite singles, Only Wanna Give It To You, and Refill. Now she's returning to the music scene with her highly anticipated new album, Elevation. Here to tell us more is Elle Varner. Woo! Thank you. I love your in Wyoming. Yeah. You just get this for a little bit. Oh. Like nice. a four dollar nice. vintage. Tea. I love it. Nice. Thanks for joining us. How <laughs> are you? you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So you uh, you know, seven years after the release of your debut album, you have blessed us with your mm. new album, Elevation. Yeah. What has the response been like? It's been overwhelming. Like everyone likes a different song. And if you're familiar with my music, I always have like an acoustic song, then an R&B song, then a kind of pop song. And um, so everyone likes something different. Yeah, yeah like so. Me. That's my song. Walk, yeah, walk us through the album and like what listeners can expect and like what your favorite tracks are. Um, it starts with the word feelings and I think it puts you in your feelings. It's, it's very um, musical. There's a lot of instrumentation on there the boom bap drums that I always go back to. Um, stories, real stories. There's a song called One to 10 about how badly do you want to break up on a scale of one to 10? Mm -hmm. You know, so if you need to get back with your ex, play them this song. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just, it's just a journey, just like my journey the last seven years. Yeah. It's colorful in that way. Yeah, what was the inspiration behind the album? I, <laughs> I, um, it's just the place that I'm at. I've, I've elevated through these last seven years, and I just wanted to capture that. Like, in a, if it was a photo, that's what this album captures. Right, got gotcha. you. Yeah. And you mentioned the journey you've been on, and you really yeah. have been after your debut album. There was a lot of back and forth with your label, and so take me through what that experience taught you about the music industry. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's the music industry. <laughs> it's um, it's it's not like there's no HR. There's no, yeah. you know, a lot of artists are talking about uh, that it should come with therapy. Yeah. Um, I had to get my own therapist. Mm -hmm. Good for you. But yeah, it's it's and it's fine. It's the ones that last and and are still touring. You know, in their 60s and 70s, they all had to go through it at some point. Mm -hmm. Prince had to go through it. Michael, everyone, Stevie, mm -hmm. you know, to make the album he wanted to make, it took him so, so much. And we just know the music, but we don't know everything that happened behind it. So I'm a strong woman, and, I, and I'm proud of that, and I'm proud I persevered, and yeah. this is it. And you ended up making this EP with an independent label. My yeah. label, yeah, with so, E1 distributing from my label 212 Entertainment, so I'm a label owner. There you oh, go. Yeah. Thank you. And I own my masters, which oh, wow. is yeah, which is really awesome. So this this season of my life is about taking on more of the the entrepreneurial aspects than just being an artist. Mm -hmm. I've always been an artist, producer, and I always write my songs. Shout out to Stacy Barth on Kind of Love. Yes. Who, wrote that song with me, but um, this is new. And it's it's a lot, it's a lot, but it's something I was trained to do. I went to NYU, uh, School of Recorded Music, mm -hmm. Clive Davis, and when I took on, when I started my art, my professional artist journey, I kind of left that. And I was just an artist, mm -hmm. now it's come back, so yeah. I'm excited. It's a business, and part of that business is also performing, and so yeah. for you, what, for what fills you the most? Is it writing and singing, or is it performing and getting performing, out there? Yeah. Performing. I just watched um, Bohemian Rhapsody last yes. night, and when he says uh, to the girl, the only other time I feel like this is when I'm on stage. Mm. And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> it's so true. There's, there's nothing like that interaction with a fan um, you're giving them everything, but they're giving it right back to you. It's very powerful. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you have um, some guest appearances on the album. Do you mm -hmm. want to tell us about those and what it was like to collaborate with them? Yeah. Um, well, there's Rhapsody on Wishing Well, who has a new album coming out 
August 23rd, I believe, called Eve mm -hmm. that I'm on as well, <laughs> um, on a track called Michelle. And she's just always been true and real. Like throughout all the years, people have changed and they get kind of funny and this and that, but she's always remained herself. And I appreciate her for that. So the track she's on, Wishing Well, really tells a lot of my story mm. of the industry. There's a line, day ones turned into day nuns. Mm. Um, and then Wale, mm. constant collaborator, he's just, he's one of the best, yeah. one of the best lyricists, delivery, crazy, and he's always just been so easy to work that with. That song is so good, yeah. for me. Thank so, you. Yeah, I've been <laughs> listening you. to it on repeat. Thank you. <laughs> so you came up with the term um, trap jazz. Yes, I did. Can you define it to people who, like myself, aren't cool? And um, <laughs> do you think you it still are. lives on today? Yeah, I think um, I think there's a lot of there's a big resurgence of jazz um, in 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 the mainstream, pushing into the mm -hmm. mainstream. Uh, there's this artist, Baby Rose, who sounds like freaking. Uh, Sarah Vaughn and mm -hmm. Billy and mm -hmm. um, there's Masego. I love Masego. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's just to name two. But I I just kind of gave it a name because I everyone always said my voice was jazzy, but I love hip hop and trap music as well. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. In 2017, you won a Grammy with mm -hmm. Chance, Chance the Rapper for his uh, album um, Coloring Book. What was yeah. it like winning the Grammy, working with Chance, and would you ever work with him again? I've been working with Chance since like 2013, maybe mm -hmm. 2014. Um, the vibe in those rooms is always electric. Like he always works with the same guys, his same tight knit group. And it's just, of course, of yeah. course I would, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. And yeah. I, re I remember when um, the first lady of the United States, Woo! our first lady of our hearts always, Michelle right. Obama, first lady, lady. please, I, I, I consider her still the first lady. Right, right, right. Um, when she gave you an incredible shout out, said Malia was a fan of yours and your album Perfectly Imperfect was in the rotation. <laughs> what was it like, I can only imagine, was it like hearing Michelle Obama, one of the most historic women probably in American history, give you a shout out that your music was impacting her life in some way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speechless, right? Yeah. Right, exactly. And I think she said it to Oprah, which right. is like... <laughs> no, no it, it was to Literally Oprah. just like, you can't, you can't write it better. No, no. Um, the real ones, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, the real ones, no. I mean, I just be doing my thing. Yeah, yeah that's all you gotta say. That's so amazing. Yeah. Well, Thank we love you. you. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Elevation is available on all streaming platforms. That's all from us. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same table. Thanks so much, guys.